Welcome to Report Season and in this video we'll be looking at the very first tab which is Setup Outcomes tab and this is probably the most difficult out of all of the uh, tabs to explain. It is uh, certainly the most complex. It uh, sets up the behavior of how the middle part of your reports are generated and this draws straight from uh, the student grades that are from the fourth tab, student data. So, uh, going back to the first tab, when you uh, first download uh, this uh, package, it is blank, there is nothing in it, there are no starter comments, there's absolutely nothing going on, and you have to generate all of this stuff. So, the first table, you can list up to four outcomes. So, these will be the reported outcomes directly from Central. The second table here is the order in which they will be stitched together to make your complete middle fragment. And uh, there are a series of drop down boxes, so one to four. So, if I put uh, so outcome one, let's say test outcome one, test outcome one. You can see that up the top here in this table, it's identified that all of the descriptors for A to E, and including N and NA, are going to be uh, labelled uh, test outcome one. And also the first outcome is uh, labelled here in this second table, order of outcome, comment, fragments and reports. It also says test outcome one. I can change that to any order I wish. but at this point in time is uh, test outcome one is uh, the very first one so I'll put some other ones in so I'll just put um, outcome two uh, outcome three and outcome four okay so you can see that these tables here it's listed those as being out, uh, test outcome one, outcome two, outcome three, and outcome four. Now, the way I stitch these together, so I've put that third, that will mean the very first one is going to be read from outcome three. Uh, let's say, put that one, might read from uh, the second one first, if I leave that as uh, three and four. The order that these are going to be put together as one comment is the second outcome first. The, uh, oh, I've got two of these at third, but no good. So the first outcome second, the third outcome third, and the fourth outcome fourth. So that's just a way of ordering those things around. You may choose to keep them just in the same order as they come out. So... In these sections, you're going to write uh, report comments, and uh, you can stitch them together. It could be one really big long sentence, or if you've got two out, uh, four outcomes, say two sentences might be the way to go. So maybe this uh, outcome, you might talk about that with outcome two uh, in one sentence, and then you might talk about uh, outcomes three and four in the second sentence, or you might choose a different format. You might only have three outcomes and choose one sentence to uh, cover all three outcomes. The wording is completely up to you. So it will become uh, a little clearer when I give a, a worked example. So these, uh, this table up here, this is uh, has no actual part to play in any of this. It's just uh, some words to uh, help synonym, well, basically their synonyms help to describe um, uh, the level of achievement at each outcome. So for A, like uh, exceptional, excellent, outstanding, impressive, uh, you could possibly come up with better descriptors than that. This is just here to help. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time looking through some thesaurus online and in Word <laughs> trying to come up with some of these. Uh, as I said, you may end up doing better. So these four tables here, they are lookup tables. So what they will do is they will look up the, uh, so if I go to the 
student data now, you can see that that says test outcome one grade, outcome two grade, outcome three grade, outcome four grade. And when you put your students in and you put uh, that and you have their grades for each one, it'll look up their grade and then it will uh, pull the comments from these lookup tables. So they're the basic elements. I'm going to move over now into a uh, document that I've worked on before. So this one here is one I've set up for science. So I've got four outcomes, scientific knowledge, working scientifically, communicating scientifically, and problem solving. And the order I'm stitching these together is I'm going to have the part that's talking about scientific knowledge first, joining up with working scientifically, which is second, and that's going to form one sentence. And then uh, communicating scientifically third and problem solving fourth. So really, I'm going to have two sentences put together. And each sentence is going to comprise of two parts. So up here is all of my uh, scientific knowledge comments. Using the central um, variables, so that's uh, a gender variable, so he or she, when you uh, put your final comment into central, it will uh, pick up the gender and put the appropriate word in there for that. So if a student got an A for scientific knowledge, uh, let's assume it was a girl, so she has demonstrated exceptional scientific knowledge, so I've used exceptional because that's the first descriptor over here. And um, let's say they got an A this girl's excellent. She's got an A also for working scientifically. So let's have a look at that. It's going to say, um, and has developed an excellent understanding of the process involved in scientific investigations. So let's say she got an A for everything. Let's just say that. Going down to uh, the communicating scientifically, which is third, because that's the way I've ordered them. So that's going to say, uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, so problem solving is, okay, that's fourth. So it's, and working scientifically is uh, third. Okay, so it's going to be, um, so problem solving starts off this one. So it says, has also, uh, Sorry, she has also displayed an impressive ability to solve problems. And the last part uh, is uh, work, uh, communicating scientifically is and has shown uh, outstanding skill in communicating ideas. So we've stitched four things together there. And uh, they make up two sentences. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much how uh, the first uh, tab works. It uh, takes four outcomes, your lookup for each of those, and uh, it will generate in the order that you specify uh, those um, comments. So if I was to, uh, I'll just enter some, I've entered some dodgy data here for the report uh, student data section and uh, two students that don't exist. So Jane Citizen, Joe Bloggs, and I've given them grades for each one. If I was to go to the starter selections and I hover over Jane's name, it'll show me what the comment is so far. So I can test how well these put together. So, so it's going to be, she has demonstrated commendable scientific knowledge and has shown sound skills in communicating ideas. She has also developed an ability to solve problems and has developed an excellent understanding of the processes involved in scientific investigations. So that's all autofill. It's uh, straight from their grades. And that's the idea of this first tab. It's the draw data from their grades uh, in on the fourth tab and it's to use these tables configured correctly 
to create uh, the sorry the center part of the comment. So that shows you the comment so far. A little bit of a preview on there. If I move to the next student, we'll show you their preview. So that's a way of testing them. Uh, you're better off working as a faculty to go through all of these and uh, review the types of uh, comments that you want to make, making sure that all the spelling and the grammar works well. And you use different uh, descriptor or synonyms basically are the same thing for each one. So in my example before, uh, the girl got uh, A for everything. You can't say excellent four times or even twice. It's not going to be good. So she's exceptional for one thing, excellent for another, outstanding and impressive. That's um, probably the only way around that. And of course, you're free to change any of those comments later on if you think it looks a little bit clumsy, but it generally works quite well. So, thank you for watching.